Let's talk about wedding registry must-haves. Now that I have been married for a year, I figured it would be helpful to kind of create a list of a lot of the must-have items that are pretty essential when you are first starting out, or when you first get married. These are all things that you definitely need and are great things to add to your wedding registry. A year ago before I got married, I did think it would be fun to do a whole like bridal slash wedding series on my channel, but I didn't continue making a whole lot of videos just because things were pretty busy and then I got in an accident so I ended up not creating as many videos for that playlist but I did a little bit about wedding dresses and things like that um, so if that interests you definitely check out that playlist also if you guys want to see my wedding dress even though it's a year later let me know I'd be happy to do a video about it and let you know where I got my dress but anyway let's go ahead and get into the video so if you don't know where to start hopefully this is going to help you out with really adding some items to your registry also the place that I used for my registry it's free I use the knot.com it's very popular you have probably heard of it if you have kind of dived into the wedding world in general you've probably heard of the knot.com it's free it's a great way to organize your registry you can also do like your invites on there and your wedding websites so when people are RSVPing to come to your wedding it is a great way to keep track of everything and a great way to just keep everything all in one place so that your guests can see your invite and also see your registry and it just makes it really easy and what's also nice about it is that you can link a variety of different stores you can do like amazon target lots of different stores so it makes it really easy to just organize your registry all in one place and even include multiple stores i'm going to start off with kitchen supplies because that is definitely one of the main things that you want to make sure that you have all of the essentials for the first thing that i'm going to mention are these oxo mixing bowls these are stainless steel I also liked the white color and these just are a great essential to have whether you're using it for serving bowls or making things like baking maybe you're making a cake good for mixing things up good for just serving things as well popcorn great item to have is these mixing bowls I also got some Pyrex glass bowls that comes in a set of three again another good variety of mixing bowls I feel like it's just a good staple to have and then of course you want some plates I did a whole lot of research on bowls and plates because I really wanted to make sure that I was getting stuff that wasn't made with not so great materials but I wanted to go for just some simple plates. These are the Corel plates and Corel bowls. They're just simple and they work really well and they're not too expensive. So that's a great thing to add. Obviously you can change whatever items you want. Pick the bowls and plates that you personally like and add those to your registry. But I just wanted some simple ones and I've definitely gotten some more plates and bowls as time has gone on. Um, we also like to get some of those like plate bowls where they're kind of like a plate but also a bowl at the same time I think they're called like pasta bowls um, but we have some of those that are also really good and that's a great item to add to your registry because definitely well for us it was it became a necessity that we needed because we use those a lot then also you need some drinking glasses it's good to get some tall ones and also some short ones I did again a lot of research on drinkware and these were ones that I personally love I also have some glasses and plates and bowls that I absolutely love from our place now I purchased those myself I actually got those before I got engaged or got married just because they looked really really nice and those were great for when we were first starting off because they are some really high quality plates and bowls and glasses and I love them so I do have a video about our place about their dinnerware so if you are interested in that I will link that video somewhere up here if you guys do want to check it out and I will also list it in the description box below you also want to get a good knife set and a knife block I will link the ones that I have below now this was something that my brother took over and he decided to purchase for us for our wedding that was his gift gift to us because he's really into knives so he picked out our knife block and all of the knives I will link below the ones that we have I know sometimes you definitely want to go for your own personal aesthetic for the things that you have in your kitchen but also a lot of these are definitely just kind of like basic essentials but you can always mix and match, mix and match like colors of plates and things like that to whatever you personally prefer so then also you want to get some silverware I got these ones from I forgot what they were called I'll put the brand though below of the exact ones that we got this is for a set of 
four and then also a like bamboo organizer or like wooden organizer for the silverware we really like it definitely helps keep everything organized i was also definitely kind of going for a farmhouse modern kind of vibe when it came to um, the items that I got, which you'll see more as I go through the items. For example, you are gonna need a salt and pepper shaker. I got these cute salt and pepper shakers that say salt and pepper. It just has that farmhouse style on it and I just personally think it's super cute. So I will link the ones that I got in the description box below. You're also gonna probably need a blender. We have two and we got the neutral bullet, which is great, I feel like, for like single servings or like if you're doing smoothies in the morning, but then also if you want a larger blender we love the ninja blender it's so good honestly i don't think i've really tried a blender that i like better than that for larger portions of things but i do love the nutribullet as well and the ninja those are both great blenders so i will link both of those in the description box below if you're into coffee you might want a coffee maker my husband chose the ninja coffee maker now we got this after our wedding um so we didn't put this on the registry but if you know you like coffee this would be a great thing to put on a registry also if you are going to be renting maybe you're at an apartment or a townhouse or wherever you're renting it's possible that the refrigerator that you have is not going to have a water filter if that's important to you if you want a water filter my um, parents use the zero water filter so that's what i was used to and then i also did a lot of research on water filters because i knew i wanted to get one for when i moved out and zero water seems to be really the best brand I don't know if it, the word is studies but they show like their results and showing how clean their water is I even looked up a video where this guy tested out a bunch of different water filter brands and zero water was by far the best one so that's the one that I went with and it's you know the one that I was used to because my parents used that one but it's the zero water filter so that would be a great thing to put on a wedding registry if filtered water is important to you if you know that you're not going to have a water filter or water dispenser on your refrigerator and they also have a replacement filters as well that's great to get another great thing to put on your registry also something to get is a good fruit basket i just got a really simple one you want to get some measuring cups the larger ones and then also the smaller like just individual measuring cups so pyrex has some really good measuring cups again i will link them in the description box below also measuring spoons those are all essentials that you'll need when you're first starting out cutting boards cutting boards is something that you need we just got it was like a variety pack on amazon but the one that we got they the cutting boards just ended up being kind of small even though there was like three different sizes so i linked some below that i think look better than the ones that we have um, but also of course you could just search and find what cutting boards you like the best But that's a great thing to add to your registry because that is something that you're gonna need kitchen towels So just simple kitchen towels for drying your hands or drying dishes for your kitchen Definitely you could choose whichever aesthetic you're going for choose whatever designs you want or plain designs that you want I'll link a few that are kind of similar to what I have I couldn't find the exact ones when it comes to like towels and bedding I did go for like white and gray and I just went for that because those are good neutral colors that I feel like can go with anything and at the time when I was making my registry I didn't know what my future place was going to look like so I just wanted to get colors that I knew was gonna pretty much just go well with anything but of course you know modify to whatever your preferences are for your desired home aesthetic with the colors and everything like that also like a kitchen um, like a paper towel holder is a great thing to get I will link that in the description box below as well we originally got a standing paper towel holder then we just kind of wanted something that would take up less counter space or not take up any counter space at all and we ended up getting one that we could like stick up under one of the cupboards and that's what we have now it was really affordable um, so that's what we use for our paper towel holder you'll also probably want some soap dispensers if you like to get like refillable soap I find it's more affordable that way rather than just buying like a soap every time I need it if that makes sense I like getting refills and I also like the look of cute soap dispensers again i went for that like farmhouse style i have a variety of different soap dispensers that i use and i kind of alternate depending on the season i do have some amber jar colored ones that i really really like and then i also have some just clear ones and i just kind of change it up depending on what kind of decor i'm going for some good soap dispensers is good to get i'll link some that i have in the description box below and then you're also going to want some, of course, like scrubbers or things for doing the dishes. So I'll link some below 
um, but again I was going for that like farmhouse style so I didn't get those like regular sponges that aren't necessarily as cute but they can be essential but anyway I'll link some of the like type of cleaning items that I got you can modify this to whatever you like but these are just some ideas giving you just hopefully a good list of the items that are good to add to your registry so of course you're gonna want to get a vacuum cleaner I just got I added a really affordable one to my registry because vacuums can be kind of expensive and I just felt weird putting really expensive things on my registry I didn't want to make people think that I was just asking for all these super expensive things um, but you can always add things to your registry and you I mean you don't have to expect that everything's gonna get purchased because it very well may not whatever you think is best you can add but I I know one of the most popular vacuums that people get is the Dyson vacuums but I just added some really affordable vacuum and it's been a year later and it's it still works but it's not like the best vacuum ever so maybe do some research into vacuums that you like I linked some below that I think look really good and they have good reviews some affordable options and then also some of the pricier options so if you're not sure where to start hopefully that can help you out in picking a vacuum and then you're also going to want to get like a Swiffer if you know you're going to have hardwood floors I mean you don't have to get Swiffer that's just an example that's something that we got later on because we realized we needed a way to clean the hardwood floors um, so we just got a Swiffer relatively affordable definitely some other options you could look into as well just something to clean hardwood floors and then on to bathroom essentials you're going to need some bath mats and then you're also going to need a shower curtain so I'll link some that I like. Again, I was going for the gray aesthetic. Of course, you can change what you want to change with colors or products in general, but this is, again, just to give you an idea of essentials that are great to add to your registry. The shower curtains that I got, they are no hook shower curtains, which is really nice because you don't have to worry about getting hooks for it. Of course, also make sure that your shower curtain size is going to match whatever your shower size is gonna be because that was a mistake that I made. I was just, you know, didn't know a whole lot about shower sizes. So, you know, I added a shower curtain to my registry not knowing what the size of my shower was gonna be, but I mean, we didn't know yet. So if you know, that will definitely help if you know where you're gonna be living. That can help you pick the correct size. But I love the shower curtains that I got and they've just held up really well. I also, you know, have modified things for the seasons with decor and stuff, but the shower curtains that I got are good, just simple, basic shower curtains that are great for every day. So then also bath towels. On my registry, I added some bath towels, just kind of randomly stuff, one that had good reviews. And I mean, they work good, but I'd say the best towels that I have are from the brand Miracle Made and then also Cozy Earth. Miracle Made, it says it like harbors less bacteria in the towels because they use silver in it, which the quality of the towels though is what I love so much about them, but it's cool that it has that little added bonus of helping to, you know, eliminate or reduce odor and bacteria. But um, the quality is just really, really nice. It's really nice and cushy. So those are definitely one of my, some of my favorite towels. I also love the Cozy Earth towels. Those ones are definitely on the pricier side, but those are awesome if you're looking for some really nice, high quality towels. They're also really large towels. So if you don't like those small towels and you really want something that is a nice, large size, then Cozy Earth has some great towels. The They're like premium plush towels are the ones that I have tried and those are really, really nice. I'll also link some towels on Amazon that are more affordable and they just have good reviews. For a bedroom, you're gonna need some sheets. I wanted to get some good organic sheets. I think the brand was Milani Sheets. So I'll link them in the description box below. I got white and gray. And then the comforters that I got, they are so nice. They're from the brand Nestwell, which actually is like an exclusive brand to Bed Bath & Beyond. and. Bed Bath & Beyond is going out of business, so I, I tried to see if I could link them anymore, if they were still available anymore, but I couldn't seem to find them on, on the Bed Bath & Beyond website. I know some stores might still potentially carry the brand while they're still just trying to like kind of clear out items. I know they're having like a big sale in stores. So if you have a store near you, it might be worth checking out to see if there are any items that would be good to get before they completely close their stores. Also for the kitchen, you're gonna need things like baking sheets, baking pans, pans for like making cakes and stuff like that. I'll link everything in the description box below. Then you're also gonna of course need things like table lamps and floor lamps. If you guys do want me to go more in depth on like furniture and stuff, I can. I'd be happy to show you the furniture that I have and that I love. I did get 
quite a few things from Amazon and they work they have worked really well but anyway if you guys want me to go into furniture items let me know but that those the furniture items aren't normally as much of stuff that you would put on your wedding registry however you could put like nightstands and dressers and stuff on your wedding registry um, so let me know if you guys want me to do a video about that but those are all of the essentials that, that I could think of that are things that you want to add to your wedding registry they're all great things to have also even like uh, plungers <laughs> things like that you'll honestly learn a lot of it as you go as you when you first get married you'll find the things that you still need that you don't have that maybe you didn't think about but you'll definitely learn some things as you go once you move into your place also maybe you already have your own place maybe you already have a lot of your essentials you know you still some of these things still might be things that you need just kind of you know, you know what you have, you know what things you need, but if you're just starting off and you don't have anything yet, then hopefully this list will help you out with just knowing what things to add to your registry. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you want to see even more content from me in the future, I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you for my next video.